I had the chance to run away the circus when I was a kid and didn't do it, so I think I've, I've always tried to make up for the fact that I was a chicken and didn't, didn't jump on the wagon and leave. I have done sideshow work. I've been a tattoo artist. I've owned a honky-tonk. I run the Starlight Drive-In. Belugaville's is the latest uh, installment in a, a lifelong process of kind of exploring the carny, carny ethic. I'm uh, Jim Stacy, and we're talking about my Palookaville corn dog wagon. My wife and I, with an assorted cast of helpers, produce handmade gourmet carnival foods. And uh, everything's made from scratch, assembled by hand, and uses the best ingredients you can possibly get. And thus, the process begins. You'll be able to see us at all the, all the major neighborhood festivals around Atlanta. And uh, when you walk up to the Palookaville wagon, number one, you're not gonna get the cheapest corn dog in town. I'm not selling dollar corn dogs. Just the nature of what I'm doing means that they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. But each corn dog is probably the largest corn dog you've ever had. I have an Italian sausage and a polar sausage that I use for two of the dogs, and then I have a regular Imperial Frank. You can get either a cheese batter, a regular batter, or a jalapeno batter. Then the big one is the Frankenstein Monster. It's almost 14 inches long, but it's all three meats stacked up onto one kebab skewer. The toughest thing for us to do is our vegetarian selection. I refuse to have any tofu dogs on my wagon. That's just, they're just a crime against nature. I think ketchup is an abomination. I offer ketchup because I get sick of hearing people bitch that I don't have it. But I don't have to be quiet about the fact that I think it's, it's the wrong thing to put all over one of my magnificent creations. But if that's where they want to eat it, that's where they want to eat it. Hell, they can put chocolate sauce on it for all I care. That sweet and salty is pretty good on it. It's unhealthy, the, the love I have for corn dogs. But my favorite thing about corn dogs is a microcosm of America. The fact that you would take a child to a carnival, pack him full of sugar, put him on a bunch of jittery rides, make him sick, make him cranky, and then hand him a piece of meat with a sharp stick in the middle of it. Here, you don't like your sister poker in the eye. And that is classic America to me. Here's dinner and a weapon, you know, and then it's fried. So it's, it's definitely America then. Ketchup is the only un-American thing that's happening with a corn dog. Number 30! The weenie queen is my delightful new bride, Kim, and I couldn't do it without her because uh, she keeps all the money straight. And uh, she keeps us from giving away all the corn dogs because I'd give every damn one of them away probably. Kind of adds to the whole chaotic Number 31. atmosphere. You know, there's grease everywhere and there's fried meat and sharp sticks and the Weenie Queen screaming at you. Number 34. I try to just be, you know, as vivacious as possible when delivering food. Number 35. <laughs> just to sort of put some sort of attitude behind the name Palookaville so people won't forget where they had that food. I love you. Oh God, that yells back at me. <laughs> Palookaville is kind of an antique term for a boxer that has been beat so much that he was just addled. It's kind of like being shell-shocked. You know, he's been punched so much he's gone to Palookaville. And the whole term seems carnival burlesque, old-timey to me. So I just like the whole term Palookaville. And I can imagine eating a hot dog with that attached to it. And that's what happened. <laughs> OK, let's need to shove all the. Corey and I are down here at the, we're at the Starlight. We're getting our prep work ready for the tamales for the show on Saturday. And this weekend we're doing, we're doing a hickory smoked pork, apple smoked chicken, and then a farmer cheese and pickled cactus. These are our corn husks. 
And this is what your tamale will be wrapped in. You'll have a little fist of dough. I call them fists. I don't know why. You have a little fist of dough there. Fold like that and they're tied. And then your tamale is steamed in there. These smell great too. They smell like, they smell like a cowboy hat. Dirt from East Atlanta Tattoo has a gallery. And he does, uh, he does these themed group shows. And this show is uh, the Day of the Dead show, Dia de los Muertos. The dirt emailed me and asked me if I knew somebody who could do tamales. I was like, man, you're, you know, you're not going to believe this, but that's what Palookaville was going to be originally. It was going to be a tamale wagon. And we've got our meat smoking outside. We've got a chicken and our hams smoking. We've got our vegetable broth for our tamale dough going. And it's even, you can even tell, now you can start smelling the peppers. Now it doesn't smell as much like vegetable soup now. It's starting to get almost like a burlap you smell to it. Awesome. Really great street food, like a corn dog or a tamale. To me, it's the best types of food there are. And if you use the right ingredients and pay attention to how those ingredients work together and the quality of those ingredients, you create something that's really spectacular. I am in Palookaville right now, and it's very it's right next door to heaven. Oh. The food's delicious, and it's just so different than anything else. And, and Jim and I have a good time doing it. And the weenie queen shot me an evil look. See, you see what I have to work with? Rarely ever do we make a bunch of money. <laughs> so it's purely for, for uh, self-gratification. <laughs> Look at this. All the cheese is all melted good. Look at that. It's like a candy bar almost. When I was growing up, my dad, my, well, my dad and my grandfather both, uh, used to always say that if we ever saw a hot dog being made, we would never eat another one. Corn dogs are just such common, quick, cheap. They're even worse than fast food. They're not even being sold out of a window with a speaker on it. They're, they're handed out of a cart. And I really love the dichotomy that you can take something that lowly and make it absolutely gourmet in every, in every fashion of it, down to, down to the bag that I slide it into. It just says, it's delicious on the bag. Of course it's delicious.